What's up, everybody? So, the Halloween update has ended. So, I did a lot of walking, finding a lot, caught a lot, hatched a lot, and I have a massive video today, as in multiple evolutions, that should help fill at least four spots in the Pokédex. So, let's get to it. First, here's a Graveler. I have enough for the Golem, so... I'm not suspecting anything big. The IVs aren't good. CP is really not that impressive. But let's go ahead and evolve and see it all together. The other ones that I have on deck is Seal going to Dugong. I have one of my top 5, 10 favorites from the show. Shelter going to Cloister. And then I also have Coughing going to Weezing. As you see, registered to the Pokedex now. There's the Golem. So, I mean, 1402. It is a rock. Not really anything specialized moves. Okay, so let's just go on down just a little bit here. Now, here's the seal, and it's a wonder. And, I mean, it's got decent CP, and it has a good space to go. So, let's go ahead and evolve it. We know that it's going to be a dugong. Let's see how high it can get. And especially being a nice throws something different. So, I mean, it may be worth powering up, putting into a gem. Who knows? I had seven gems earlier, and I went ahead and collected. So, let's just see what happens here. Of course, there's another spot in the Pokédex. New Pokémon. A 1200. It knows Frost... Well, it knows one Ice and one Water. I mean, I was kind of hoping for Ice Beam or Blizzard, something like that. But, hey... It's something good, something new. Now, we'll go on to, like I said, one of my favorites. Shelter is now going to go into Cloister. I got lucky at the Jonesville Park where usually nothing is. I found about nine, eight or nine shelters in about 45, 50 minutes. So, let's go ahead and involve, get the Cloister. This was the only Pokemon before the last two updates where... If you go see a Pokemon in a gym, it automatically adds it to your Pokedex and everything. Shelter was the only one that had ever gotten away from me. And now I got the Shelter, and now I have the Cloister. Again, I love it just because it's different. Hey, it knows two ice moves. I'll be alright with Icy Wind. I mean, again, it just throws something different out there. It's I think it's just a caught my attention, so it's level 3 IV by the appraisal and now as you can see still a ton of my ghosts i still have to delete them all i did another exit tour today so now i have a 2078 exit tour and now let's get down both of these coughings are both wonders both of them were egg hatches so i mean either way i go there's only 10 difference between the two let's go ahead and evolve get this wheezing see what it gets up to and again, it's just something different to have. Me and Amanda both seen in the first week playing the game right down the street from my house, Kangaston was on the nearby. And I know it's a region exclusive, but it was there. We just couldn't find it. We were new to the game, so we didn't really go looking too much. 1267, it does no Sludge Bomb, which I mean, suspected that. Or Sludge Wave, I think it is on this game. But... There's the four new and the four new evolutions that are added to the Pokedex. There's you see just a few of my stuff. I mean, I did hatch another Electabuzz in the last video. All my Gyaradoses. I'm keeping that 721 Eevee for whenever Espeon and Umbreon comes about. There's my second Dragonite. I have powered them up a little bit. There's my new one, the Wander. It does no steel wing and hyper beam. I mean, it takes away the speed, but it's been in the gym for eh, about a day and a half. And there's my quicker one that I kind of like better. I mean, it's not as high weight. It's not as high of an IV, but it's good to have something good to attack the gyms with. And I still have this, which, I mean, it would only be like a 2300. I know that sounds like a lot, but since Dragonite goes up to 3500... And, of course, I do believe this is a wonder, too. So, there you go. And its best attribute is its attack. So, 
Again, it'll probably be the one that if I ever get to it would be having Dragon Claw. Like every single one of my catch seems to have. But that's it for today. I mean, I'll show you right quick also. And as my Pokédex, again, most of these I have seen on a nearby Blastoise down at the park once, but could never find it. I have a Squirtle Egg Hatch at mid-500s as a wonder, and my War Turtle is at right under 900. So, they're both wonders. That will fill up at least this good first bit. It's hard to find Mod Chops around here, and I love Magneton, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to drive about an hour away just to find some. Muck. A lot of people said that they were out during the Halloween update a lot more, but didn't see any. I gotta get my Voltorb and maybe Amanda will trade me her Hitmon chain whenever that's available. But that's it for today. I will be posting. I have one more 10k egg video to hatch or hatch video to actually shoot and edit and put up then i'll put this one and i also have another game that i've been working on so i hope that y'all see it and enjoy it when it comes out but that's it for today hope y'all enjoyed a lot more to come and hopefully the new updates will help get the xp and everything else up peace